Jenny Webb, eight and a half months pregnant, is dead. An apparent suicide that heartbreakingly also claims the life of her unborn son, Braxton. Mom dies, baby dies. That's just the way it is. It's so tragic. So it's very just tragic. incredibly tragic. But Jenny's friends and family emphatically say Jenny did not take her own life. You knew in your heart mm -hmm. that your daughter was not suicidal. That's right. That's right. She was excited to have this baby. She wanted to be a mother. She was not suicidal by any means. Then the question that would cause a tectonic shift in the case. Who's the father of Jenny's baby? Mr. Webb just looked at me and said, your officer, Ken Blue. Now, I've been in public safety a long time. I was a paramedic before that. Okay, I did a tour in Southeast Asia. So I, not much rattles you, but that rattled me. I just couldn't believe it. I felt sick to my stomach. Sick to his stomach because Waterman knew Officer Ken Blue was the one who found Jenny hanging from the luggage rack of her own car. Blue was the one who found the suicide note in her purse. And now Blue, a married man with a family of his own, was the father of her baby. And I knew right then and there he did it. And I just knew this whole thing was staged. Buena Vista Township PD can't investigate one of their own, so Michigan State Police are called in. Detective Sergeant Alan Ogg will be the lead investigator. You got on the scene. Was everything still there? Nothing was there. The body had been removed, the vehicle had been towed, everything was gone. And were you thinking, oh no? Um, I knew that that made it a little more difficult. The scene is secured until forensic scientists Gary Ginther and Valerie Bowman arrive the next morning. Once there, they make a discovery in the ditch below where Jenny's car was parked. A pair of flip-flops, but not much else. There wasn't really a whole lot there. in. For whatever reason, I was just standing along the asphalt, uh, just saying there has to be evidence here someplace. There, there's evidence that we're not seeing or finding. And, and lo and behold. Lo and behold, indeed. 195 feet from where Jenny's body was found, Ginther finds a cigarette butt lying on the ground. And that's not all. I just turned around and looked down and observed the uh, blood spot. Uh, and then eventually, not too far away from that blood spot, was a little necklace of uh, peace. A cigarette butt, a necklace charm, and blood. Possibly three bombshell pieces of evidence. Everything collected is sent to the lab for testing, including Jenny's and Blue's cars. The Pontiac Aztec was towed to the laboratory, and we also processed Officer Ken Blue's patrol vehicle. So what was Officer Blue up to that night? Turns out Blue had been strangely silent, not answering any radio checks for the hour and a half leading up to Jenny's body being found. He goes dark on his police radio from about 9.05 or so to 10.30 when Officer Patterson has finally had it with, Where, where's Blue? He's not, he's not responding, so he goes out looking for him. It was then when Patterson headed to one specific dead-end road in an isolated part of town. How did Officer Patterson know to go to that location? That was where Blue would go. Uh, if he was going to sleep on the job. He sees Ken's car there, sees the victim's car, and Ken says, yeah, I was just getting ready to call you. I found this girl. According to Patterson, Blue looked disheveled and out of sorts. When he got there, um, Blue was all sweaty and out of breath. And the more cops dig, the more pieces of evidence point to Blue. In Jenny's phone, in Jenny's contact list, she referred to Officer Blue as Ken Cop Boo. She did. Ken Cop Boo. And of course, when Sergeant Waterman found that number in her phone, he not only knew, well, Ken Cop Boo, what's the coincidence there, but the phone number that was attached to it, he knew Ken Blue's cell phone number. He recognized it right away. He recognized that these three calls had been made that evening. Three calls between Jenny and Officer Blue on the night she was found dead. Detectives also learn Jenny and Officer Blue had planned to meet that evening around 9 o'clock to discuss child support and putting his name on the baby's birth certificate. So what did Officer Blue have to say about it all? 
coming up. I don't mean to sound like an ass. I'm just thinking, how would you not recognize her? Officer Blue in the hot seat. Why is it that I'm killing the suspect? They go out to the crime scene. State police are there, crime lab's there. And lo and behold, who comes pulling up in his civilian clothes? Ken Blue. To the crime scene? To the crime scene. 